Rubskin here, and now we're going to talk about the plot of the fucking Captain America Civil War. We're going to fucking spoil it, right? There's going to be plenty of spoilers here, so hope you fucking seen the movie already, because, yeah, we're going to talk about the plot and the fucking surprises, which honestly, there weren't that many surprises, you know? I guess the big surprise for me was that Captain America doesn't die, you know? Because I thought Captain America was going to die, because Captain America dies at the end of the events of Civil War in the comics, right? So I kind of expected Captain America to die, but actually that, that, that is kind of a big surprise, that nobody dies, nobody dies, right? You know? I mean, the trailers kind of made it look like Rhodey died, but he doesn't die, he just gets paralyzed, you know? It's a weird thing that I just realized. <laughs> Actually, he just realized every, most of the things I've been saying is rhyming, you know? Big surprise, nobody dies. He's paralyzed, realized, man, this is fuck. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> okay, but, but, but point is, yeah, nobody dies. Yeah, but there, there's still some dramatic moments, right? And, and actually, the Avengers team is fractured right down the fucking middle, right? Everybody's fighting each other, right? Which is kind of interesting, because, you know, throughout the fucking Marvel movies, uh, they're great movies, but the, the, the one complaint is that they don't really have the best villains, you know. Um, they just don't, you know. But this time, there's like no villains, because the heroes are actually fighting each other. And it's really dramatic, because they have really, you know, personal reasons for, for getting into the fight, you know. And it's really between uh, Captain America fighting fucking Iron Man, and uh, the Black Panther, he's going after Bucky, you know. And uh, Vision... And uh, Scarlet Witch actually a conflict, and you know, you know, everybody's got their own personal conflict in this fucking war, this civil war. You know, it's kind of crazy. You know, plus, uh, and Spider Man shows up. Spider Man's actually really awesome. You know, that this is fucking Spider Man in, in the movie. He's great. I'm really looking forward to a solo Spider Man movie. But you know who stole the fucking show? Ant Man. Ant Man stole the fucking show. I mean, the, the, the biggest surprise moment in the whole fucking movie was when Ant-Man grew to fucking giant size. That was fucking crazy. Oh, my God. But there were other cool moments before that. Before that, man, when Ant-Man was inside fucking Iron Man's armor, like, fucking it up, that was cool. I mean, I mean Ant-Man really had some of the best moments in the whole fucking movie. Really. Yeah. Let me see. What are, what are the surprises with him? I was kind of surprised that there was actually a villain. There was actually a villain in the movie. This guy named Zemo, who was actually manipulating things. Great. Um, Zemo's actually a really cool villain. I look forward to seeing him come back, you know. Because in the comics, he's like wearing a mask, but he was just some guy, you know. And, uh, really, really, he presents a bigger conflict, you know. Because the battle between Captain America and Iron Man was kind of settled. Then, at the very end of the movie, the battle heats up again, right? Because Tony Stark discovers that Bucky actually killed his fucking parents. Yeah! Bucky killed his parents. And Captain America knew about it. So, sort of. He, he kind of knew about it. But, yeah. So they start fighting again. Oh my god. And then it turns into a knockdown, drag out brawl where fucking Captain America finally disables fucking Iron Man's armor. Right. And, uh, Tony Stark's just laying there pissed off at Captain America. Like, you don't deserve that shield. That shield was made by my father. Right. So Captain America just drops it on the ground and walks away. And, yeah. The Avengers are now fractured, right? Fractured. It's terrible. But, yeah. Yeah, so at the end of the movie, we see that a bunch of the Avengers have been put in jail, right? They're in this underwater prison, right? But we also see that Captain America, like, breaks them all out. So, I guess the Avengers have gone rogue or something, right? But Captain America doesn't have a shield anymore? I don't know. Yeah, the movie kind of leaves us with the Avengers have been fractured and our heroes are separated and who knows what's going to happen, you know? What will the future be, you know? But uh, there's some post-credit sequences, right? Uh, one involving the uh, Winter Soldier and he's getting put back in the freezer. You know, he's going he's gonna to cryogenically freeze himself again, right? And, uh, and another one involving Spider-Man, but... Yeah, um, I don't know what's going to happen. In fact... Marvel has said that uh, they, they were originally going to make the next two movies, like Infinity War Part 1 and 2, but they're going to change that, right? They're, they're going to change the titles and change it up, so they, they don't even know what to expect next, right? Hey, 
which is kind of funny because I guess the next things we're going to get is a Doctor Strange movie that doesn't have anything to do with the uh, Marvel movies. It's very much a standalone movie, right? And we're going to get a Spider-Man movie. But the next fucking Avengers movie is actually a while off. So, who knows? We're going to get another Thor movie before we get another Avengers movie. So, yeah. Looking forward to that. <laughs> But, uh, I don't know, what do you guys fucking think? What was your fucking favorite part of the movie? What, what, what did you find that was, like, surprising that you didn't expect? Let me know. Write a comment down there. And, uh, as always, fucking keep it real. Psycho assassins? <laughs>